Welcome, in this video I will show you how to transfer data from your old Apple Watch from to Apple Watch 11. In order to do this, you now have to pair your Apple Watch and your iPhone in a specific way. In order to do this, you have to bring the Apple Watch closer to your iPhone, make sure that you see this animation on your screen and also make sure that your iPhone is connected to the internet for better experience. Once you unlock your iPhone, you will see this notification on the screen. Click continue to start setting up your device. But if you don't see this notification, don't worry, you can just go to the app library open the watch find and open the watch application and then select start pairing right here and then uh, decide whether you want to set this device up for yourself or for a family member by selecting one of these two options on the screen next hold apple watch app to the device's camera so basically just focus your camera on apple watch's display and hold it for a while in order to synchronize both devices like this now they're paired and what you have to do now is select restore from backup. Click right here and then select one of the available backups for your Apple Watch. Tap on it and select continue. And now we have to wait until both devices are connected. It's gonna take a, a while. After that, read and agree to terms and conditions, see on the screen to continue. Uh, then uh, if it's if this Apple Watch is locked to owner, you have to enter the uh, Apple Watch's owner email and then the password. If you don't know it, you have to contact the app watch owner if you bought it from, from uh, other person. Okay, right now give me a moment. So enter the data, then click next, and then you can enter, you can create a passcode for this Apple Watch by clicking create a passcode, providing a new passcode on your Apple Watch's screen, and then uh, confirming it by providing it once again on the following page. Uh, but I'm not gonna do this right now. I'm, um, select, I'm gonna select don't add passcode and don't use uh, passcode to confirm. You can all also always uh, set uh, set it up later in settings. Then you have to adjust the text size by moving this slider to the right to increase it. You can also check your text size uh, in the real time on your Apple Watch's screen. And you can also make the text bolder by switching the style to the right. Once you're happy with the results, click continue, then okay. Then uh, personalize uh, your data by selecting your date of birth, your sex, your height, your weight, and if you're a person moving by, by a wheelchair, switching this toggle to the right. Then click continue. And get to know your safety features and click continue once again. And uh, now decide uh, whether you want to control one-handed gestures using a wrist flick or a double tap if you switch to this option. Then click continue and then set up a depth application whether or not you want to, to, to uh, open automatically when, you, when you're submerged. Uh, so choose one of these two options and then wait until your Apple Watch is synced with your iPhone. And after a couple of minutes the setup will be done. So at this point you can start using your Apple Watch you can take a tour by with uh, OS 26 watch OS 26 if you want to and uh, generally speaking that's it thank you for watching this video if you liked it consider subscribing to our channel leave us a like in the comment below and I'll see you in the next one